Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zautus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to convert Figma design to HTML and CSS. So there's going to be a tutorial for beginners. Before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So how do we actually convert our design in Figma into HTML and CSS? Well, in this case, it's actually pretty easy. So first things first, go to figma.com, log in into your account, and once logged in, what we need to do next is we need to access our project. In this case, I actually have this project here. Let's go ahead and double click on it. Now, once you've opened up your project here, what we need to do next is we need to enable the dev option here. So typically at the top right of your screen, you should see a code or the dev mode option here. Now in this case, for you to use this, you need to move it to a paid team first. In this case, you just need to uh, basically hover it, click on move file. And from here, move it to the project or team project section here that you have a paid plan for Figma. In this case, let's go ahead and select our project, click on move. And in this case, as you can see, the dev mode option should now be enabled. In this case, let's go ahead and click on it. Now, our UI is going to change significant, significantly. Now, in this case, at the right section here, if you have a paid plan for Figma here, you will be able to see some different information about it. Like, for example, the CSS and HTML code about it and a lot more. Now, in this case, once you click on learn more here, you should be able to see different things that you could get for the dev mode or the plus dev mode plan here, which is around $12 a month. In this case, that includes the advanced inspections, quick handoff, track changes, and plugins and extensions. Now, if you want to get it, just click on get dev mode and complete the whole process of getting the plan itself. Now, in this case, once you've done that at the screen, at the bottom right of the screen, some options should appear. So typically, it's going to appear similar to this one. So in this case, you should be able to see the HTML file, CSS file, and other CSS and other related HTML. In this case, you should also see a download selection button here. Now, in this case, you just need to click on the download selection there and you'll be able to download the whole project that you have in here. Now, in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.